Good afternoon, everybody. Today I will talk about workup of the infertile couple. Overview, introduction, etiology of infertility, initial approach, history and examination, counseling, diagnostic test, summary and recommendation. Introduction, an infertility evaluation is usually initiated one year of regular unprotected intercourse in women under age 35 years and after six months of unprotected intercourse in women age 35 years and older. However, sometimes we need to do an early um, evaluation. So the early evaluation may be initiated sooner in women with irregular menstrual cycles or known risk factors for infertility, such as endometriosis, a history of pelvic uh, inflammatory disease or reproductive tract um, malformation and the basic uh, evaluation of uh, infertile couple can be performed by an interested and uh, experienced primary care physician or an obstetrician gynecologist why it's uh, important uh, the early evaluation is important because infertility is a common, uh, unique medical condition with important psychological, economic, uh, demographic, and medical implication. Etiology of infertility. So we have a female factor about 40% and male factor about 30%. Unexplained. Uh, infertility about 25% combined about 10% and others about 5% male factor from 26% to 30% evaluatory dysfunction is about 21% uh, tubal damage is about 14% uh, endometriosis 6% uh, coital problem 6% cervical factor 3% unexplained about 28%. Initial approach. Both partners of an infertile couple should be evaluated for factors that could be impairing fertility. It's important to remember that the couple may have multiple factors contributing to their infertility. Therefore, a complete initial diagnostic evaluation should be performed to detect the most common causes of infertility. So the evaluation of infertile couple is started by meet the couple and taking a history. So the history um, or history, the most important points of history is the duration of infertility and the results of previous evaluation and therapy. And the important points is the age. So the age is important, uh, especially for the uh, uh, woman partner. Uh, we can see here in the diagram there is a relation between the pregnancy rate and the age of women. So this is showing the pregnancy rate in various population at different times in history. And we can see here uh, the pregnancy rate is declining with the increasing of female age. The other thing, the duration of uh, infertility and the menstrual um, history is very important also. So, for example, cycle length and characteristic of, of menstrual uh, cycle, which is held in determining the ovulatory status. For example, regular monthly cycles with um, premenstrual symptoms or uh, mulumenia, that the breast tenderness and ovulatory pain and bloating, that's mainly suggesting that the patient is uh, ovulatory. The other thing, uh, the fertile window, which is every couple that must understand about this, fertile uh, window for uh, counseling propose uh, the fertile window is best defined as the uh, six-day interval ending on the day of uh, ovulation. Intercourse is most likely to result in pregnancy when it occurs within the uh, three-day 
interval ending of the day of ovulation. Medical and surgical history. The review of systems should determine whether the patient has symptoms of thyroid disease, uh, galactoria, herstism, to look for conditions or procedures or medication potentially associated with infertility. So here we can just look uh, for any endocrine uh, disturbances or abnormalities. Um, the other thing, the also most important thing, gynecological history, including sexual transmitted infection, pelvic inflammatory disease, and treatment of abnormal pap smear. Also, if there is any pelvic or abdominal pain, dysmenorrhea, or dyspareunia. Obstetric history to assess for events potentially associated with subsequent infertility or any adverse outcome in a future pregnancy. Sexual history is very important, including sexual dysfunction and frequency of coitus. Infrequent or ineffective coitus can be an explanation for infertility and also absence interval greater than five days may adversely affect the count and the morphology of uh, sperm. Family history. If there is any family history of birth defects, genetic mutation, um, uh, fragile expert mutation. Personal and lifestyle history is also very important, including age, occupation, exercise, stress, uh, change in weight, smoking, alcohol use, all of which can affect infertility or affect fertility. Physical examination, BMI should be calculated. Uh, extremes of BMI are associated with reduced fertility and um, abdominal obesity is associated with insulin resistance. Uh, signs of incomplete development of secondary sexual character, or if there is any signs of thyroid disease, galactoria, and androgen excess, if there is any abdominal or pelvic masses. Counseling, the negative impact of subfertility on uh, psychological and emotional well-being, as we'll recognize it. However, counseling uh, helps couples better understand the implication of their treatment uh, the choices they make and, the, and to better accept the outcomes of treatment. Uh, three types of counseling. Uh, these parties are not separate but typically overlap. Implication counseling, support counseling, therapeutic counseling. I'm not gonna go in details of this, I just uh, mention it. As we see here in this table, uh, there is some factors that have significant impact on uh, fertility, lifestyle factors that affect infertility. So like obesity would be my more than 35, time to conception increase two folds, underweight BMI below 90, time to conception increase four fold, smoking alcohol, uh, relative risk of infertility increased 60% and some drugs also we can see and some toxins relative uh, risk of infertility increased to 40% for the uh, drugs uh, especially illicit drugs and 40% toxins. Diagnostic test, uh, semen analysis Semen analysis is the cornerstone for uh, or the cornerstone of the assessment of the male partner of an infertile couple. We're using the normal semen uh, parameters uh, WHO 2010. Semen volume it's about 1.5. This is the normal range. Uh, sperm concentration 15 millions per uh, milliliter. Total sperm count about 39, uh, progressive motility uh, about 32%, uh, 
uh, total motility is about 40 uh, vitality life spermatozoa is about uh, 58 normal sperm morphology it's about 4 this table shows uh, some causes of uh, male factor infertility. So we can divide it to pre-testicular, testicular, and post-testicular. And here some causes of pre-testicular like Kalman syndrome, pituitary damage, hyperprolactinemia, um, male exogenous steroids, testicular like idiopathic genetic defect, Lyme filter syndrome, and post-testicular congenital bilateral absence of vas deferens, uh, infection, trauma, vasectomy. Assessment of ovulatory function. Ministerial history. As I said, ministerial history is very important. So from ministerial history, we can determine the uh, ovulatory uh, cycle or not. Women who have regular menses approximately every 28 days with uh, premenstrual symptoms are most likely uh, ovulatory. Ovulation, also we can detect the ovulation by uh, measurement of the middle UTL phase serum of progesterone at day 21st and the uh, progesterone level more than 3 nanogram per milliliter is evidence of recent ovulation or uh, an alternative way is to use the urinary ovulatory protection kit that's to detect the utilizing hormone uh, that highly effective for protection the utilizing LH surge uh, that uh, re real reliable indicate ovulation and in the mid-cycle uh, cervical mucus test, that there is specific characteristic of uh, mucus, cervical mucus at the mid-cycle, uh, it will be watery, transparent, and uh, very thin uh, mucus. Uh, test, test is of limited clinical utility actually we don't recommend to use this test like postcoital test it's not recommended will not help to guide in treatment selection uh, endometrial biopsy to document a secretory endometrium which is indirect evidence of ovulation does not recommend uh, does not recommend recommended use of this test unless endometrial pathology is strongly suspected and the basal body temperature record this. Basal body temperature charts are the least expensive method for detecting ovulation although interpretation or uh, interpretation of the chart can be difficult and subject to wide inter uh, observe variation. Assessment of ovarian reserve. The, identi the identification of dimensioned ovarian reserve is an increasingly important com component of the initial infertility evaluation. But we don't check it in all the patients unless we suspecting dimensioned ovarian reserve like patient or women have previous surgery, ovarian surgery, or uh, trauma, ovarian trauma, or patient uh, has exposure to any kind of radiation or chemotherapy. And the anti-malarian hormone, it's only for the IVF treatment response. The anti-malarian hormone reflects the size of uh, primordial follicle pool and can be done anytime and the anti-malarian hormone level appears to be an early reliable direct indicator of declining ovarian function and as I said that we don't check it in all patients unless we suspect there is ovarian dimension
assessment of fallopian tube patency uh, first thing it's hysterosalpingogram hysterosalpingogram as a first line test for evaluation of of tubal patency because of therapeutic as well as diagnostic benefits and meta analysis of nine studies uh, comparing the hysterosalpingogram with laparoscopy as the standard the pooled estimates of sensitivity and specificity for hysterosalpingogram uh, in identifying tubal occlusion and uterine pathology. So, specificity and sensitivity of hysterosalpingogram for tubal occlusion is about 95% sensitivity and 74% specificity. And in uterine pathology, about 98 sensitivity and 35 percent specificity causes of abnormal tubes most likely it's due to secondary to infection like chlamydia pelvic inflammatory disease uh, endometriosis uh, appendicitis tuberculosis uh, here, as we see, it's normal uh, picture of hysterosalpingogram. Uh, we can see here the uterus and both tubes uh, looks normal. No uh, normal uterogram, no any uterine defects, and the tubes looks patent and bilateral spill of uh, dye. So this is the typical normal picture of. Uh, hysterosalpingogram. Here we can see this is an abnormal picture for uh, hysterosalpingogram, which is a common picture uh, as we see here. It's bilateral uh, hydrosalpings. You can see the tubes is closed. Um, adverse, uh, so the hydrosalpings, such as uh, adverse effect on IVF. Pregnancy outcome, uh, fluid drains into endometrial cavity, uh, rapid reaccumulation of fluid post aspiration, tubal occlusion, increased pregnancy outcome, salpingectomy may affect ovarian function. Assessment of the uterine cavity, modalities to assess the uterine cavity include saline infusion, sonohistrography. Uh, hysterosalpingogram and hysteroscopy. Causes of abnormal uterine uh, cavity, it could be congenital or acquired. Congenital, as we see here in picture, Mullerian anomalies. There is uh, some of Mullerian anomalies here, like atresia of vagina, atresia of the cervix, bicornate uterus, and the acquired, as we see in the other picture, fibroid, polyp. Asherman adhesions and others. Rule of laparoscopy. The rule of laparoscopy in the evaluation of infertility is controversial because it's invasive and expensive procedure. Laparoscopy may be indicated in women with endometriosis or pelvic adhesions. Not every woman or as a basic evaluation. Uh, or women with infertility but no endometriosis symptoms or prior surgical exploration undergo complete infertility evaluation. The advantage of performing laparoscopy early in the evaluation of women suspected of having endometriosis or pelvic adhesion is that surgical therapy can be initiated avoiding uh, potentially ineffective or unnecessary empiric medical treatment such as ovulation induction. Summary and recommendation. An infertility evaluation be offered to couples who have not been able to conceive after 12 months of unprotected and frequent intercourse. Earlier ev evaluation is indicated in some couples such as those in whom female partner is over 35 years of age or history of 
oligoaminuria or known with the suspected tubal disease or endometriosis. History and physical examination are directed at identifying sinuses and symptoms suggestive of underlying cause of infertility. The basic infertility evaluation of all couple consists of semen analysis, assessment of ovulatory status by history and laboratory testing, determination of tube repetency and presence or absence of abnormalities of the uterine cavity. For the evaluation of women with infertility, ovarian reserve is assisted with an antimalarian uh, hormone level and D3 FSH and estradiol levels and as we mentioned this test we don't uh, uh, use it for all the women's uh, diagnostic laparoscopy may be indicated for women with suspected endometriosis or pelvic adhesions these are my references thank you so much for the listening and always, always keep your eyes firmly on the goal, not the mistakes, not the fear, not the process, focus on the goal.